Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like it. Detroit Piston, Piston Mike. You know what time it is. You here for the update? Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the Pistons rise. To Detroit the top. Basketball. What's, what's good everybody it's your boy pistol mike make sure you like share comment and subscribe don't cost anything not even nickel or dime shout out to alex always keeping me updated click the link in the description for your cool pistol gear we're gonna get into it so the detroit pistons work out um enrique freedom and what i'm hearing they fall in love with him before a draft who is he he's a standout freshman who played at akron um all four years maybe even fifth year because he's 23 years old yes he's a probably a fifth year senior i'm thinking um average 18 points this year 13 rebounds double double machine um he's a a a, a four slash a five um he's more maybe even a small ball five because he can't move that good laterally and uh play on it looked like wings can go past him, you know, um, but he's got good foot movement. Um, he shot 67% from the field, and I believe 37% from three. So, dude can do a little bit of all. Um, he's definitely intriguing, and this does not surprise me as Trajan Langton becomes the new basketball ops. This is kind of the dudes he go for. He's six foot seven with like a seven foot two wingspan. Kind of, you know what I'm saying, the same height and the same wingspan as, like, Jeremy Grant. So, let's put you in the mindset of those. He can potentially be a draft still. He's somebody who can probably come in and produce right now. It might take him a while. You might send him down to the G League and see what he can do. And then send him what he can do with the big squad. Um, but he's definitely interested because... He worked his way up. He was all the way in the G League combine. He he did so impressive that he got invited to a real combine. And over the two days in the combine, in the total days, he scored 29 points. So people have left him impressed. He went from undrafted to a second rounder. Now they saying possibly he might be in the late first conversation. So this dude, Freeman. Is a real deal, Holyfield. He a real talented cat. Um, go look at his footage, man. An interesting dude who can really play. And people be thinking it's not about the flashy players when it comes to basketball. All that dribbling, you know what I'm saying? All that nice stuff look good. It look real good. But sometimes you need a player who's simple. He knows his moves. He finished 64% of the time out at the rim. That's in the 84, I mean, 81st percentile. You know, he scores well on picking pops. He's like in the 61 percentile of that. It's so much stuff that we need. He's a double-double machine. You know, he's in the 64, he's in the top percentile for that. It's stuff like that that matters. You know what I'm saying? And he's a defender. I think he averaged like a couple. In the tournament, he was averaging four, block, four blocks a game. So he's a defender. He's going to make life rough on a lot of people. He's going to block shots, you know, because of that long wingspan. And he can jump a little bit. You know, he got okay athleticism, nothing crazy. But it's definitely a dude that the Detroit Pistons have been fond of and looks like they might want to take him in the draft which don't surprise me we need all the big bodies like that who can shoot um that's the one thing about i like um about lengthen we need to address the wings to be for real and that's what he's good at addressing is the wings so and people might talk crazy about him but it's true i mean it's a hundred percent facts um i like I like um, all these guys. You know, I love the the Pistons, but I like guys like this. I'm talking about draft guys who are not 
the problem with Tor Troy Weaver is he drafts some guys in the top five, top ten. He's yet to really make, you know, the most of the draft, getting undrafted guys like LinkedIn or getting, you know what I'm saying, second round draft steals and all of that. But, Troy, I mean, Trajan LinkedIn has. He has. Herb Jones was a 34th overall pick. You know, he got Karis LeVert and Jared Allen at picks 20. You know, would you want to have that? Would you want to have them or would you want to have Sadiq Bay and Isaiah Stewart? You know, as guys who, who see talent different and he like wings. So, and we need those. So, we don't need no more. Troy Weaver like guards and like big men. That, I mean, that's the old school game. Guards are very important. Don't get it twisted. But the wings run the league now. It just is what it is. So, it's your boy, Pencil Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Man, don't cost you anything. Not even nickel or dime. Let me know what you think about this prospect in this video. I'm out. Peace. Let's go. Detroit Border is part of the culture. To deep base, the trade you wanna bolster. You know the facts, so why we test the rope? Kill and get haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round tick, had him sick. K cunning hell, that's John Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a buzzer grant. They all jumping in. Pissy Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yeah, it's Pissy Mike.